I'm getting ready to prepare for you my barbecue oxtails. So I have a bowl here full of oxtails. I've trimmed some of the fat off already and they have been rinsed. I have my fresh herbs here, which is uh, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, a barbecue mix, and hot pepper flakes. I have some fresh rosemary, some thyme, and basil leaves, and two cups of red wine. Now I'm going to put all these ingredients together and let my oxtails marinate before I put them on the grill. So I'm going to chop up my uh, basil. Just give it a nice rough chop. And I'm going to put that on my oxtails. I'm going to take my rosemary and I'm just going to put that on my oxtails as well. And Sometimes, depending on the size of the rosemary, you could just get the leaves off much easier. So, I'm going to put that on my oxtails, and that should be enough rosemary, because you really don't want your herbs to overpower your oxtails if you're trying to get an oxtail flavor, because you really want to taste uh, the smokiness and the barbecue flavor on the oxtails. So now I'm going to add probably about six sprigs of thyme. I'm just going to let that sit in there. I'm going to put in all of my herbs and seasonings and spices and all those great things in here. And then I'm going to add my two cups of red wine. Any uh, red table wine that you have, you have some left over, will be great to use as a marinade. And then I'm going to mix all of this together, put this in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then I'm going to take these and put them on my grill. Hi, we're outside and I'm getting ready to put my oxtails on the grill. As you can see, I have a very, very hot side and a very cool side. So what I like to do is put my meats on the hot side of the grill first so I can get a nice sear on them. And then, as you can see, I have my uh, grill tray that I'm going to place the oxtails on so they could get, nice and, uh, get a nice smoky flavor to them. So my oxtails have been sitting for about an hour. And I'm just going to put them right on the grill. Let them get a nice sear on them. small pieces in here. What I will do with those pieces, if they are too small for the grill, I'll put them right on the grill tray when I put them in, when I put the grill tray on the uh, grill. I'm going to let these get a little sear on them. And I've got just about all of my oxtails on the hot part of my grill. So I'm going to let these get a sear. And then I'm going to place my tray on the grill and let these smoke for about three hours. Okay, we're back outside. I'm going to check on my oxtails. Okay, those look fantastic. They've got a nice crust on them. So now I'm going to move them to the cool side. As you can see, I had my smaller pieces on the grill, so I actually don't need to use my grill tray. So I'm going to move all of them over. And I'm going to let these finish cooking. They've been out here for about an hour now. I'm going to let these finish cooking. I'm going to go inside, work on my barbecue sauce. I'm going to start the mustard greens with pancetta. And by that time, this should be done, and we'll put all of this together for our dinner. 
Okay, so my oxtails have been on the grill for about an hour and a half now. And as you can see, I have some of my blueberry barbecue sauce here. I'm going to start to baste them with some of the sauce so it can start to cook in. And I tell you, this sauce packs a little punch to it, but it's absolutely delicious. And I'm actually going to use this sauce on my barbecue ribs for the 4th of July. So I'm going to continue to baste my oxtails. And when we come back, I'm going to start my baby mustard greens sautéed in pancetta.